Museums house all sorts of interesting specimens in their collection. You might think of an unusual bird or a remarkable mammal, but would you think of a rusty car? That's science educator and video blogger Emily Grassley, who's earned widespread acclaim for her efforts to inspire public interest in the natural sciences. Grassley's YouTube channel, The Brain Scoop, has almost half a million subscribers. Meg Oliver paid her a visit. Meg, good morning. Good morning. Emily Grassley is part comedian, part science tutor. Forbes named her as one of the 30 under 30 standouts in the field of education, and her videos have been viewed more than 24 million times. Ready to dump some stink water. Emily Grassley comes alive talking about dead things. It's like a, a UFO. She stars in her own YouTube channel, The Brain Scoop. Her warm and witty delivery turns the most unappealing topics into entertaining science lessons. Thank you so much for joining us on our first live stream dissection. The 29-year-old also holds one of the coolest job titles as chief curiosity correspondent at the Chicago Field Museum. Are there any other chief curiosity correspondents at museums across the country? Not that I know of. <laughs> Museum President Richard well, LaRiviere remembers spotting Emily for the first time. Well, it was astonishing. Uh, a young woman whom I'd never heard of just happened to blog that she was visiting the Field Museum and families took their kids out of school and a hundred of them came in here to see her. And you decided to hire her on the spot? On the spot. And you accepted the job on the spot? Oh, absolutely. I, I was... It said, whatever you want. Many of these devil babies are made from guitar fish. Her job is to highlight the museum's scientific research on her show. You could say this legacy still has legs. She's done it all from digging up fish fossils. Like there? Just like that. To dissecting animals like skunks. This smells so bad. And zebras. You really love dead things. Yeah, they can teach you so much. Her unusual journey started in 2013. Grassley was an art major at the University of Montana when she visited the Zoological Museum on campus. I mean, completely overwhelmed with specimens all over from the floor to the ceiling, like taxidermy birds flying around the room. From an artist's perspective, it was a really magical place. You loved it so much, you started volunteering there. Yeah, immediately. And then you started a blog. Yeah. That blog about cleaning bighorn sheep and stuffing and skinning roadkill caught the attention of Hank Green, one of the most popular creators on YouTube. He helped her start her own channel. Thanks for giving me my own show on YouTube. <laughs> I'd never done it before, never done videos, uh, don't have a background in science, uh, and really didn't have any outside input from anybody who had worked in a museum other than the curator at the time. But you were winging it. We were totally winging it, 100% winging it. It's the biggest dog. It worked. Right off the bat, they did a five-part series on this roadkill wolf. Yes, that, that was one of the greatest moments, I think, in Brain Scoop history, um, where we were on our way driving to Fish and Wildlife to pick up this 90-pound wolf that was in their oh, deep wolf? freezer. And James was like, you should call Liz and, and make oh, sure that sorry. she knows we're on the way. Oh, sorry. Thanks. I accidentally called lens crafters. <laughs> she has managed to win over the scientific community with a degree of enthusiasm that I haven't seen in my 40 some odd years in academia. Scientists were so impressed, they recently named a new butterfly species discovered in the Andes after her, the Wahydra grasslii. What's it like to have a bug named after you? It's one of the greatest achievements of my life, I think. <laughs> but the response hasn't always been positive. With close to half a million subscribers, she's battled a barrage of negative comments online. You have a piggy nose to you look kind of fat or things like maybe you would have more viewers if you dressed sexier. This was your version of a Me Too, kind of. It was. It really was. And I wanted to talk about it. The more I thought about it, And though, she did, devoting an entire episode to it titled, Where are My Ladies At? I would have to say it would be the frustratingly negative and sexist comments that I have to sift through in my various inboxes on a daily basis. The media took notice. She wanted to call out the haters and show the next generation of curious students it's okay to put yourself out there. From that point onward, I saw a real shift in my community. I saw them holding themselves accountable for what they were saying. There was like low tolerance for those sorts of comments going forward.
It kind of smells like if you had like leather shoes. Some consider Grassley a feminist science icon, but she just wants to inspire the next generation. Lifelong learning is really important to what it is that we do, and it's important to me as a person, right? Um, and that's what I want people to walk away with. It's just a, a desire and a self-motivation to ask questions of the world around them. Is she a breath of fresh air? Oh, my life? gosh. I don't know if I love dead things, but I love her. <laughs> yes. Yes. Exactly. She's outstanding. I mean, just outstanding. I Googled her, her videos uh -huh. and one word, decomposition. But she is fearless. <laughs> fearless. Fearless. She and didn't I want to talk about that. it after yeah. she first did it. Yeah. The first specimen she ever prepared. She thought there was something seriously wrong with her. Yeah. But, <laughs> no, she just knows it's curiosity. All right. Awesome. Meg Oliver, thank you.